By the time Florida State got to Phoenix late Saturday, the Valley of the Sun was already experiencing the coldest Fiesta Bowl week in recent memory. Three degrees in Flagstaff, up to 37 for a high there tomorrow, 57 tomorrow in Tucson. It finally warmed up a bit today, Florida State's second full day here, but still the high temperature today in the Valley of the Sun will only be about 50 degrees. And that's not the only break from the normal Tallahassee routine, as Coach Bowden has closed practices to the fans and the media all week. So we can uh, practice without being distracted. Uh, just too many people that can wander out there and get on your sidelines and get in your way, and you just can't, uh, you can't concentrate. We're going to try to win the game. This might hurt your highest with chance. Well, they did let us in for a little while today, long enough to note that this is a loose bunch of Seminoles, one that's not uptight at all about facing the fifth-ranked team in the nation. No, we definitely want to go out to win, you know, because we know Nebraska is a powerhouse. You know, they really have a good tradition there for football. So we plan to go out there and, you know, play ball hard and, you know, win and, uh, you know, remove any doubts around the nation and who's, who should be the best team in the nation. Just across the valley, the Huskers worked out under the watchful eye of Dr. Tom Osborne. Nebraska is quietly going about their business. After their big talk backfired on them against Oklahoma, there will be no war of words in the press this time. I do believe that I would be kind of surprised if you're able to get anything real wild out of them this week. <laughs> Tonight at 11, we'll look back at the very first Fiesta Bowl game, that 1971 shootout between the Seminoles and Arizona State. Ken Tomash, Channel 6 Eyewitness Sports, at Fiesta Bowl week in Tempe, Arizona.